guys how's going on my name is Louis and God bless every single one of you today is May 21st 2024 and welcome to the real GS news channel all right guys so we have some urgent information coming out if you can please share this video and just looking at this title and this picture once again it's not looking good it says here the next few days are critical for UKR the Bear Armed Iskander TU-22M3 and MiG-31K formation with nuclear, once again, nuclear alert across the Bear Southern region. We just talked about this not too long ago. We have more breaking news updates. There is a lot of stuff going on right now, guys. Nuclear forces are on high alert. All right, so uh, we're going to see what's going on here, guys. If you can, please share this video. Uh, I just post, post one not too long ago. And uh, if you guys want to check it out, the link will be in the comments box. But the title to that video is The Biggest Warning. And it is the biggest warning. Guys, today, the leader of the yellow and blue country just came out, extended martial law so he could be... Uh, again continue being the leader of the yellow and blue country the bear is not recognizing that the bear is saying hey that's it you are out of here you are out of here we don't recognize you as a, as the leader of ukr you are consider a well i don't want to say the name because of the platform so let's see what's going on here if you can please share this video this is very important i do believe we are on defcon 2 and DEFCON 2 is basically, you know, just uh, a watch. You know, again, you have multiple lands on high alerts. They're keeping an eye on the bear because the bear is moving nuclear. All right. So I do believe it is DEFCON 2. I do believe that nuclear forces are on high alert. So the bear armed formation in a southern military district with tactical nuclear equipment and the most massive nuclear exercise in decades. Now, again, guys, you know, they keep saying it's, it's, it's an exercise, but I just believe this is a message. Uh, I believe that this is uh, sending a, a, a message to the sleeping giant. It should be noted that the bear capital is taking increased nuclear deterrence measures with patrols of strategic bombers and aircraft armed with some very powerful nukes. A fact that targets several countries other than the yellow and blue. They're talking about Romania, Poland, Baltic countries here. Now, for those of you that missed my video, and I did warn this, I mentioned this yesterday. Let me just bring this up really quick here. All right, you have uh, this one here. The yellow and blue country capital prepares the people for nukes. Don't inflate them. The damage will be small. Don't be afraid. It won't be like Hiroshima. Now, I did post this video. I'm posting videos left and right here, guys. A lot of good stuff. So, again, make sure you check out the videos and my channel, all my channels. Uh, the links will be in the comments box. So, they are also preparing the people, too. And... Um, Again, that you know, there's a lot of stuff coming out right now, guys. I never seen anything like this. Never ever seen anything like it. The announcement by the Bear Ministry of Defense raises many questions about what the Bear Capital is really planning, while leaving suspicions of firing a tactical nuke in the final phase of the exercise, as NATL has also warned. Now, remember, the Bear fired. Actually, they didn't fire nothing. Uh, there was a lot of uh, conspiracy going on that the bear was going to fire the hypersonic missile off California coast, which, uh, again, it was not no hypersonic stuff. It was a rocket launch. But, uh, again, there's been a lot of uh, a lot of nukes being moved. And also, uh, you guys know that uh, Belarus, they also have nukes that belongs to the bear. So uh, we have seen something here. And this summer is going to be really, really hot. By the way, Mr. Z extended martial law until August 21st, 2024. So, three months. I, yeah, May, June, July, August. Yeah, so he, he extended martial law for another three months. He said this, 
I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> Man, I ain't going nowhere. I love being the leader of the yellow and blue. Oh, yeah. Well, again, you got money pouring in like, like crazy. You love being the leader of the yellow and blue, but what about the people? See, that's the thing. It's about me, 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 me. It's me. It's about me. But what about the people? The Bear Ministry of Defense specifically mentions that phase one of the exercises with regular and UKE equipment has begun. Well, there we go. While Belarus will also enter phase two with its own nuclear forces, SU-25, with um, some very powerful nukes and other equipments. Mm. It remains to be seen if this NUKE exercise in the Bear Capital shield for some high-risk op in the yellow and blue, for example, towards Nikolaev, Odessa, or in the western yellow and blue region of Lviv, Lonsk, we remind you that he has informed Belarus about sending forces. Ah, this is the person right here. He's the one that said that that the yellow and blue country capital prepares its people for nukes. Once again, this person here, deputy commander of the 3rd Assault Brigade of the yellow and blue, SDF, formerly associated with the Azov organization, made some unthinkable statements about the biblical war in the yellow and blue. The yellow and blue officer in his television interview shocked two journalists when he responded with unprecedented relaxations to the possibility of the bear dropping NUKE nukes on the yellow and blue soil. Please pay attention. Please share the video. Give this video a big thumbs up. It truly helps out if you give this video a thumbs up. According to many, this statement is equivalent to an attempt to prepare the yellow and blue people for a terrifying event that would include dropping the big one. What he said, what he said in Verbantim, this is what he said. Will the bear ever use nukes? I think so. They can do it. However, the consequences of modern nukes should not be exaggerated. It won't be like the 1945 that the sleeping giant dropped in Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Well, we won't see such images with modern nukes. So what's... There's a possibility maybe he's talking about EMP. Who knows? The damage to our concrete cities will be greatly reduced. There is no reason to exaggerate the consequences of this nuke use, even if there are any. Warning, warning, warning. What does the announcement of the Bear Ministry of Foreign Affairs say? Well, previously announced exercises for the use of non-strategic NUKE equipment had begun in Southern Military District. This was reported by the press service of the Bear Ministry of Defense. The Bear Ministry of Defense showed footage of the first stage of exercise with hands on training on the preparation and use of non-strategic NUKE equipment. Specifically, they were armed with regular nukes. The formation with a Skander TU-22M3 bombers, MiG-311 fighters with a 9S7760 missile of Kanzal system. The general staff of the Bear Armed Forces began the first stage of exercises with pra practical training in the preparation and use of non-strategic NUKE equipment. Hmm, mm-mm. These equipments formation of the Southern Mil uh, Military District as well as the aviation of the Bear Aerospace Forces participate in the exercises. The forces practice receiving special ammunition for the Iskander uh, system equipped these forces and tactical equipment and moved the designated launch area. So, um, there is stuff being moved left and right they're moving these stuff right 
now. Hello. Hmm. Look out. It, again, it's only an exercise. That's all they say. It's only an exercise. Let's play that one more time. Bringing out the big boys, the big toys, the N-U-K-E. Ooh. Um, Sleeping Giant, what in the world are you trying to do here to, I mean, you really trying to provoke the bear to N-U-K-E, the bear to start tactical equipment drills near the yellow and blue. Mm. We want to give a big shout out to Mike for signing the 95 billion bill. Thank you so much, Mike. <laughs> the personnel of the Aerospace Forces uh, unit also practice the practical accusation of the special munition equipping. And they, there you go. That's the stuff that I just showed you in that video. The drills are aimed at ensuring the readiness of units and equipment for the comeback use of the non-strategic NUKE equipment to respond and unconditionally guarantee the territorial integrity and sovereignty of the bear state in response to provocative statements and warnings by individuals sleeping giants, sleeping giants, sleeping giants, Western officials against the bear federation. The reason why they're doing this is because of sleeping giant. And N A T O. That's the reason why they're doing this. Remember, Emmanuel Macron been opening up his mouth left and right that he's gonna drop the N U K E. And yeah, you know when you, the loudest one in the room is the weakest one. Emmanuel came out the next day. We don't want war with the bear. We sorry. We don't want war. They say the loudest one in the room is the weakest. We've seen that in Emmanuel. And a press representative of the bear um, leader, Dimitri, responding to a corresponding question from journalists, noted, noted excuse me, that conducting exercise for the use of these powerful equipment is connected with the statements of the NATO and Sleeping Giant about the readiness to send forces to the yellow and blue. All right, so that's very important there. So they are getting stuff ready. Because NATO and the Sleeping Giants are about to send soldiers. That's where we're at. So, so uh, they're going to send soldiers, and the bear is going to use NUKE if soldiers are in there. We are seeing it, we are living it, and we are witnessing Bible prophecy happening right in front of our faces. So we... Should the sleeping giant get involved? Should the sleeping giant get involved? We have breaking news. Once again, you know, just leave comments down below. Should the sleeping giant get involved? The bear said the first stage of the exercise with these powerful equipment has begun. Preparation for nuclear use has begun don't worry guys uh, those in the spotlights that have bunkers and underground city they good so it's just us we're gonna be uh, looking up in the sky and seeing these flying objects it's all right our bunker is heaven all right those could hide underground and in caves and stuff like that but uh, those who are in Christ we ready we are ready the first stage of the exercise with practical equipment of the preparation and use of non-strategic equipment began in the Southern Military District, the Bear Defense Ministry said. According to the instruction of the Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces of the Bear, the first stage of the exercise with a practical test of the preparation and use of non-strategic NUKE equipment began in the Southern Military District under the leadership of the General Staff of the Bear Forces. It is noted 
that a few days ago, the bear leader had instructed the general staff to prepare for exercises regarding the use of non-strategic NUKE, which are used for specific tactical gains on the battlefield. The bear nuclear gymnasiums are a response to the statement, are a response to the statement of representative of Western lands, including Emmanuel. I told you guys, the weakest one in the room, I mean, the loudest one in the room is the weakest one. Emmanuel was yapping his mouth, and um, now all of a sudden, he's nowhere to be found. All right, so once again, Emmanuel about the possible dispatch of NATO soldiers to the yellow and blue. The bear has in his arsenal 1,000 to 2,000 warheads. Wow. Ten times more than Washington. <whistles> For non-strategic NUKE equipment, estimates a report compiled by the Congressional Research Service. The bear, of course, do not reveal the exact number wow isn't that beautiful i feel so safe i feel safe right now the next few days are critical for the yellow and blue country nuclear alert across the bear southern region we are seeing it, we are living it, and we are witnessing Bible prophecy happening right in front of our faces. I got a lot more videos coming up. Guys, make sure you hit that notification bell. I want to thank every single one of you for sharing the video. Before you leave, give this video a thumbs up. It truly helps out, guys. A thumbs up, it truly helps out. It sends a signal to YouTube. And when YouTube see a lot of thumbs up, you know, then they can see my video and just uh, recommend it to, uh, to new people out there. So with your help, uh, again, thumbs up and sharing the video is 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 something that uh, truly helps build the channel. Also, I want to thank everybody so much for the love and support, either through Patreon, PayPal. Your support truly helps out. Guys, um, I got another video coming up. There's a huge announcement tomorrow. Persia is going to make a huge announcement. I think 6, 6 p.m. tomorrow. That video is coming up next. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Once again, for those of you that want to give a like to Christ, you can email me. My email is in the description box. Me and my wife are here to help many and to lead many to the righteous path. And that's the path of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Louis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. Once again, guys, $1 a month Patreon. We get your access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about on the platform. Also, I post the videos today. Those links will be in the comments box. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ, for he's the only way, the truth, and the life. No one gets to the Father but through Jesus. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time later. Peace.